I bet that High Trail Edition logo is starting to look really familiar to you. Traxxas has released another TRX4 in the lineup, but this one has the sport body. I was not expecting that, and it's missing something. Can you spot what it is? How about now? 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 I'm gonna tell you what it's missing in just a little bit, and I think you guys are actually gonna like it. I'm also gonna go over the features of this truck because it's different from the other high trails that we've seen before, and then you know it. I'm gonna take this to the trail and get it dirty. Quick breakdown for the new drivers watching the channel. This is a 110 scale, four x four, ready to run. Comes out of the box just like this. Electronics installed, the radio is included. You're just gonna need a battery, charger, and four double A's to get this thing going. It's offered with this blue metallic body and a red metallic body. This particular version comes with all of the really cool accessories bolted onto it, such as the expedition rack, which has the roto packs on there, a shovel, a jack, sand ramps on the other side. Snorkel on the passenger side pillar. It has a molded front grille with transparent lenses for the headlights and even amber turn signals. You can add LEDs if you want to. That is a separate kit. And then the tailgate panel is also a molded piece with transparent red lenses. Love the burly looking bumpers that they have on this truck with the red shackles. And it even has a faux winch up there that could be removed and you could add their optional winch. And the rear has the red shackles and even a box for a tow hitch. So it's a great looking off-road expedition truck the downside is they don't have clear windows on it but onto what it's missing the body clips they got rid of the body clips on this one guys this is a trend that we've been seeing with Traxxas looks like they're replacing it on the new body offerings that they have or new truck offerings and that's really cool to see now we just have those clips down in the fender wells you pull that up and the body pops off no more fiddling with body clips anywhere on this rig. I was really happy to see that. Now let's talk about one of the big features on the high trail editions, which are these wheels and tires. They are the Canyon Trail 2.2s on 2.2 wheels. They have the custom B lock on it. Really nice soft rubber to this, foam inserts on the inside, and those big tires give you the ground clearance to just tackle some gnarly terrain. Let's get this body off and I can show you the mounting tabs underneath. There's the front and there's the rear and there are all the mounts of the aftermarket LED light kit. Now let's take a look at the sport chassis and at a quick glance, you're probably noticing it's missing some things here as well. The sport edition is a toned down version of the standard TRX4. We still got the really cool portal axles and the strong chassis setup but what it's missing is the servos for the transmission and for locking out the differentials. They just have a single speed setup inside the transmission and then they have locking spools in the front and rear axles. Don't worry guys, they still have the full portal setup, which gives you that excellent ground clearance to clear obstacles. And there's metal gears on the inside, full ball bearings. Since we're going over the drivetrain, they also have the slider drive shafts with metal CV universals at each end and metal gears inside the transmission mission, slipper clutch, just a really good sport setup. And to be honest with you, when I run my regular TRX4s, I have the transmission locked up, I have the diffs locked up, and I hardly use those other features. So I actually really like the Sport Edition kits. Let's run through the chassis really quick. Metal frame rails, easy to access battery tray. We now have inner fender liners with the openings for those mounting tabs that the body clips into. You could also add rock lights to these inner liners. Sealed radio box. Now onto some of the other High Trail Edition features. This truck has extra long travel shocks, aluminum body on the shock, oil filled. The metal links are longer to help with the extended ground clearance. This one, however, is a 312 mm meter wheelbase truck so you won't see that extension down here on the skid plate and the other part unique to this particular setup is the drop down servo mount and it also drops the pan hard bar mount down a little bit but metal links up front as well there's a good look at the front portal axles with cvs out to the portal housings and finally we could talk about the electronics that come with it it has a 2075x servo for steering with a metal servo arm the titan 21 turn 550 motor and then the xl5 hv speed controller that could handle 2s and 3s Yes, lipos and it has the power adapter on there so you could go and power all the accessories that they have for this truck for control it's got the tqi radio system and you get your bag full of instruction sheets decals and some spare tools all right guys it's time to take this new rig to the trail
So I'm actually after the second time with the high trail sport. The first trail I took it to wasn't really well suited for this truck. I'm going to talk more about that later, but the trail I'm on right now, it's a nice walking trail. There's a couple challenges to it, and I think it's going to be a fun spot for this truck. Here's one of my favorite spots on the trail, loose dirt, rock, moss, and this sport is making it look easy. Plenty of traction, plenty of ground clearance, looking good. The obvious thing to do is to go through this dirt path here, but the sport is gonna go through the rocks and I'll take the path. Let's see how it does over here. Is a little off camber. Some of these rocks are jagged. Just putting the tire right on the points of the rocks. No problem. That one was easy. Since we can't unlock the diffs on this truck, let's see how well it turns. Got the wheels locked. Oh, it's going right around this tree. That's pretty tight. I had to back off the, the steering a little bit so it didn't roll, but that's not bad. Look at that. This trail has a lot of exposed tree roots on it, and that's where this TRX4 is just killing everything else I brought here. It's not getting hung up on anything. The first time I took the HD Sport out for a drive, the terrain was pretty tough. The rocks were steep, there was a lot of crawling involved, and what I found was with the shorter wheelbase and the Expedition rack on top, it raises up the CG, and this thing would roll over a lot easier. Or when I was climbing, it would want to roll back all the time. So I packed it in for the day and went to a walking trail, kind of hiking trail, gentle inclines and slopes and smooth rocks to go up and down, some rough tree roots and stuff as you guys saw from the action and that was where this was a lot more fun and I wound up doing the entire trail circuit with it because it was a blast there. So this particular rig out of all the high trail editions I think is a bit more temperamental to where you're going to drive it. The longer wheelbase high trail editions I think would have done well in the first spot where I went. This truck was a bit more tipsy in crawling situations and it is a high trail edition so you're going to want to go trailing with it and what makes this truck actually great is its ground clearance its ability to go over stuff and that it did really well on the trails uh, the tires have plenty of traction there's a lot of suspension articulation and you just have to watch for that because if you start getting too twisted up on some rocks it will want to start to tip over on you and then you, when you correct there is so much weight being thrusted that it wants to roll over in the opposite direction so kind of got to watch your drive with this thing and I was actually hoping for a little bit more from this truck because I actually really love the sport edition truck the standard version it's one that I recommend an awful lot to people because it's just a simple truck I like the stripped down transmission on it it's less for you to have to deal with and maintain and I like the sport edition body especially with the expedition cage on it I think it looks really cool especially when you go and add the aftermarket lights to it 
So there's something to this truck. I think it'll be a good addition to the lineup. I think it'll certainly fit the bill for a certain type of driver. And of course, if you like the look of it, then I would say go for it as well. If you need more information on it, I'll have links in the video description.